all right um so picking right off you know we've destroyed these actors that were in the level uh everything other than the navigation volume and the uh real player spawn point not the fictitious ones or anything like that um so when we're done with that when you take an array we're going to do for each loop of each item in our uh, sub level list here which is just going to be all those and then we come through and we from that item we get the streaming level and from there you can pull off and say should be visible uh, if you try to do should be visible here you will not see it you can see it here but if you do it that way it's gonna it's real wonky just don't do things that way just use the <laughs> use the damn context sensitivity um, just pull off of here so we basically just loop through turn them all on or make them all visible and then when we're completed with that we uh, need to come over and we need to restart the player at the player start so you can select this in your level which we have selected right now um, and then you know just get a reference to it and then from there I don't remember if it's from here no it's not from here it's from the I believe the game mode I could be wrong let me try it from the controller yeah it's from the game mode so you get game mode not game instance game mode and then from here you can restart player at player start so what that's gonna do is it's just gonna respawn us essentially uh, so we need the player controller hooked into the new player we need the player start that we want to spawn at and uh, I don't technically need this anymore this is vestigial remnants of the previous version of this that I had um, but in the event that you kept your player character alive or something and you disabled input anyways so now we cast back to our game instance and we trigger our load screen destruction which is just going to remove it from the parent and then we come oh this is the same timeline I guess I fibbed a little there um, I forgot I merged two levels into one in order to make this new loading system and it used to be this was broken up into two separate level blueprints um, okay so after you destroy it we come into this timeline which is that same curve from the first timeline uh, that's going to be our camera fade so that's going to fade us from black to white we're going to ramp up essentially or yeah I think unless I have this backwards I don't know I haven't drawn blanks here anyways uh, yeah yeah that, that's right so it it'll ramp it it seems backwards but it is backwards technically um, so then after that uh, because in I guess I don't really need this anymore huh it, well at the end of because um, the way my loading system works is in, when I'm in another level and I transition into another from one level to another at the end of the previous level I do a camera fade out which then fades into the loading screen so you go from you go from white to black as you are going into your transition screen and then the transition screen comes on and then it goes to black toward the end of it and then when the level loads you go back to white so uh, but I had it at the end of a previous level it'll slow you down when you walk into like the loading threshold box and um, 
this old, oh, wait, never mind, I take it back. I'm sorry, this is, uh, you, you gotta love it when you don't even know what your own stuff does. Uh, this right here, when I first load the level up, you'll see, um, when it first starts up, I move slow. Everything's kind of in slow motion-ish type speed, and then, yeah, all right, my bad. Sometimes you, you goof on things like that when it's 5.30 in the morning. Uh, joys of being a night owl. So uh, in this case here, I'm just I'm multiplying that track since that track goes from 1 to 0. Uh, I'm taking the inverse of that track here. So it'll technically go from 0 to 1. And then the base multiply or the speed of the character, in this case is 600, you would technically really you would want to do this you would want to uh, get uh, player character I believe or movement component no it would be player character into movement so you get your player character get movement component and then from here you would get the uh, max or let me see, it's got to be in here somewhere. Not velocity. I might have this wrong. I'd have to. I want to say it's the movement component. Um, unless there's one other thing in here. Yeah, get max speed. It'd be this one right here. maximum speed in the current movement mode so yeah you would plug this into there realistically and that would be what would uh, work but you would have to save this to a variable before you did any of this because as you change this if you were to plug this in here now each time that it ticks through here it's going to be a smaller or a bigger number and it's going to screw the math up because this will Originally, it's going to start off at zero because this here starts off at at one. One minus one is zero, so then your speed's going to be zero. So it's never going to you know zero times zero is going to it's just going to break it. So you'd have to save this to a variable before you entered this timeline. You'd have to do it like here or something. But um, anyways, it's getting way off on a tangent here that isn't necessary. Uh, for little, I don't know, little fringe effects that you don't technically need. But uh, in a nutshell, you know, running through it again, we destroy the actor, possess the uh, pawn that we made, cast the game instance, trigger our load screen, come through here, we load them sequentially, uh, the individual sub levels. When we're done with that, Oh, and they update the progress bar. Then when we're done with that, we do some camera work here that isn't necessary. We purge actors from the loading screen, and these will get reloaded the next time that you were to... If you open this map again, they would all repopulate again. It's, it's nothing to worry about. Um, we make the levels visible. We respawn the character. We disable the widget, we transition the character back in to the new open level, and when it's all said and done, you get a progress bar here, nice loading screen, and a transition into a level. So, uh, which I broke just now, apparently, because I don't have anything turned on, and it broke the nav mesh as you could see there so let's try that again and you do want to make sure that the uh, nav mesh you know rebuilds so uh, yeah ignore the terrible particle effects they're there intentionally so I can see it from halfway across the room but uh, that's that so hopefully this helps someone out and uh, leave comments or whatever if you know you have any questions thank you